Hey guys, so this is how you replace an LCD on a MacBook without actually removing the top case. Um, all I've done so far is take out the battery, remove the front bezel, and pop in all those really annoying bezel clips. Uh, so that's all easy so far. My next step here is I'm going to remove all of the screws from the um, bezel frame. This is a nice boring part that you can probably fast forward. And you'll want to remove the three screws holding the clutch cover in place. <coughs> oh, good weekend. You too. Enjoy your company. <laughs> Thanks. So now you need to release the clutch cover. And the way you do that is just tip it forward with your fingers. And then take a black stick and slide it in between the clutch cover and the LCD. You can do it nice and gently, you don't need a lot of force there. Now I'm going to flip the machine upside down so that I can release the clutch cover from the rear. And to do that, again, I just slide a black stick in between the clutch cover and the display rear housing. It goes pretty smoothly. So that's going to give you as much wiggle room as possible on the clutch cover. So next I'm going to go ahead and tip the display forward. And I'm going to... Um, Gently release the LVDS and the camera cable. And now I'm going to remove the screws that connect the bezel frame to the LCD. So now I'm just going to tip that bezel frame backwards and I kind of like to use the magnets that are up at the top of the frame in order to hold it all in place. It keeps it a little neater for me. And so now the only thing that you have left is the inverter cable which is going underneath the clutch cover. Um, so you want to pull that straight out towards the right and it comes right out. Uh, so getting the LCD out as you can see, totally, totally easy. Getting the replacement LCD in is the part that can be a little trickier. So this is where it's important to um, kind of figure out how you're going to get the inverter cable back into the inverter. So there are three holes on the bottom, three holes on the bottom of the inverter cable. There's the hole with the yellow wire, the hole with the pink wire, and then there's a hole in between those two with nothing in it. That's what you're going to end up using. The other thing you have to consider is how the inverter board is positioned right now. Um, so if you pretend that my black stick is the inverter board, the inverter is literally sitting flat underneath the clutch cover right now. So I'm going to want my inverter cable to go right into the side of the inverter. Uh, also, the inverter cable has two different sides. It's got a side with some colorful dots and then a blank side. The side with the colorful dots also is wider on the end. So I want the dots to be facing down so I don't see them at all. Now I'm going to take one of my favorite tools. It's this little pick that has, um, it kind of has a bend up at the end of it. It's pretty awesome. And I'm going to shove that into the center hole, which is going to give me a little play here. Now I'm going to put my fingers in the clutch cover and tip it forward as much as I can without breaking it. And I'm going to slide the inverter 
cable into the inverter board. Now this is something you normally will have to do a couple of times. And you're going at it totally blind. So unfortunately there's nothing cool for me to show you guys there. You just have to kind of do it blind and plug it in until it clicks. Now here I want to test that it's fully seated because the worst thing is when it's not seated and then you do all of the work to get it put back together only to find that your backlight doesn't work. That sucks. So I'm just going to loosely connect the bezel frame at this point. I'll just put a couple of screws in here to hold it in place and I'm going to use the screws that are on the top because those will allow me to connect all three pieces together. Gives me a little stability. And I'm going to go ahead and reseat my LVDS and my camera connectors here. So I'm just going to tip that forward for a moment and plug it into power. And turn it on. <laughs> 